This video is about dimensional analysis. Dimensions are the most basic or fundamental quantities we can measure. Dimensions are not units. Units are things like kilograms, kilometers, miles, seconds, and years. Dimensions are more fundamental. There are three fundamental dimensions. They are mass, time, and length. Okay, and these are denoted, mass is denoted by an M, capital M in brackets, time is a capital T in brackets, and length is a capital L in brackets. Okay. These three are the um, fundamental dimensions. Dimensional analysis and unit analysis are different. Now, unit analysis only can convert a length into a length but dimensional analysis can change a length to a time or whatever. Now, let's just, um, let's write a quantity we know, let's say velocity. Velocity in dimensional, using, um, in dimensions. Well, velocity is a length over a time. You know, for example, meters per second or miles per hour. That's more of a speed, but is basically a velocity with a um, is a speed with a direction. Velocity is just a speed with a direction. So we know that it's a length. So we'll say l over a time. This is velocity. We can write this like this, and it's usually written like this in dimensional ana analysis. Okay. Now, how about acceleration? An acceleration. Acceleration is basically a velocity per per second or per time. You know, so we can pick a velocity meters per second, meters per second. It's meters per second per second. Okay, which is basically a velocity per second. Or we can write it uh, in a simpler way, like this. Okay, meters per second. Now meters, as we know, is a length. And seconds is a time, and it's squared. Okay, so to write this in a more common way, it's written like this. This is an acceleration. This is the uh, dimensions of acceleration. And before, so this is a for acceleration, and this is v velocity. These are the units for acceleration and velocity. Okay, now. Let's let's use uh, dimensional analysis to show that Einstein's famous equation E equals M C squared is correct. E, which means energy, is equal to mass mass times the speed of light squared. Let's look at the M C part first, M C squared. M equals mass of course and M is M in brackets. C is just a velocity. It's a specific velocity, but all it is a velo all it is is a velocity, and that and like we showed before, velocity is length over time. But remember, there's two. There's two C's. It's because it's C squared, so it would be L squared over T squared. Okay. So we know that M C squared, M C squared equals m times l squared over t squared okay and this equals m times l squared over t squared okay so mc squared equals this let's put this up here this for reference okay Okay, now let's look at the E part. We can use almost any energy to, um, dimensions of, of almost any energy. I'm gonna use a very easy one, uh, kinetic energy. And kinetic energy is one half m v squared. Okay, we know that m equals m in brackets, dimensions. 
and the V is L over T. And as before, it's squared, so it would be L squared over T squared. Okay? L squared over T squared. If you multiply these two together, if you multiply this and this, you will get M times L squared over T squared, which is exactly what we found here. You might think that um, only kinetic energy will work. That's not true. You know, we can use a different energy besides kinetic energy. I'll use the opposite. I'll use potential energy. Okay. Potential energy equals mass times gravity times the height of the uh, mass. Like before, we know that m is mass and, it e and it's the m in brackets. Gravity is just acceleration. And like we showed before, acceleration is just a length over time squared. Okay. H, which is height, is just a length. So it's an L. Okay. So let's multiply all this together. Okay. M times L over T squared times L. And as you can see, when you multiply this together, it equals M times L squared over T squared, which equals what uh, MC squared equals. So E does equal, it does in fact equal MC squared. And Einstein, of course, was uh, correct, you know, when he uh, made these uh, equations. So, yeah, you can use, um, it's very useful to know the dimensions. It's very useful to be able to do this, to be able to reason this, uh, reason things out like this. Because sometimes you'll get an equation and you, you don't know what's going on, or you'll get like an answer to a problem and you don't know if it's correct. And if you know the dimensions, you'll definitely know it's correct. And so if you know the units, you know the dimensions. If you know the dimensions, you'll, you'll know um, the units. So it's good to understand the basics of dimensional analysis.